All right, everybody, welcome back to the Carolina Pro Football Report, where the Carolina Panthers have just fallen to the Tennessee Titans 17-10 and dropped to 1-10 on the season. Uh, a winnable game on paper, but not the outcome the Panthers were looking for this week. I thought there were times that, you know, Bryce looked good throwing the ball down the field. We had a few nice chunk plays like that. Um, so as coaches and players, we got we to find a way to protect the quarterback. Um, you know, and then defensively, again, we played solid on defense, um, played good on defense um, for the most part. But the challenge for our defense is, you know, we got we to create some turnovers. You know, you're playing a young quarterback. We got to find a way to create a turnover somewhere along there um, and make a play to give us a short field or score some points. Regardless of, um, you know, personnel things, regardless of whatever it is, we're all, it, it, it's a we, um, it's a we thing, you know. It's all of us. Um, you know, we all feel the same. You, you, you never feel feel good after this. Um, so there's 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 nothing else to to look at or, or blame it on. Now, one of the things we talked about in the pregame was the Panthers needing to get off to a fast start. They failed to do that yet again this week, uh, but not the Titans. The Titans struck first on a one-yard Derrick Henry run to cap off a 15-play 91-yard drive and put Tennessee up 7-0. The Panthers looked like they were shifting gears despite the pass protection battles they faced all day. Bryce Young was forced out of the pocket but scrambled for a first down. But later in the drive, the momentum changer, Chandler Zavala goes down, left the game with a knee injury, and the miscues kept coming. Miles Sanders mishandled the toss, and the Panthers were forced to settle for the field goal, but Eddie Pinheiro nailed the 50-yarder to bring the Panthers within four points. But with under four minutes left in the first half, Bryce Young was stripped, and on the ensuing drive, uh, Derrick Henry struck again, uh, a 10-yard scamper into the end zone to put the Titans up 17-3 at the half. The bright spot for the Panthers came in the second half, when Chuba Hubbard scored on a five-yard run to bring the Panthers within a touchdown. The final series gave them one last shot, but the Panthers couldn't convert. But with the list of offensive injuries, they were not able to capitalize on what looked to be a winnable game on paper. Now in the postgame, Frank Reich talked about uh, how the final play of the game is usually a winning strike uh, if it's executed properly. He talked about that as well as DJ Chark, who came up short on the play. When you hit that play right versus zero, it's a touchdown. And um, when you hit that play right versus uh, blitz zero, and if you execute it right, it's a touchdown. You know, DJ probably came a little further back than he needed to. Um, he's not normally the guy in there for that, but wanted, you know, we had some receivers go, you know, we had a couple guys go down. The, pl the play that we had called was going to put DJ on another in cut, not that he was primary, so we wanted him in that spot. Um, so we just need to execute that better. When the play is called, I'll run that route. Um, ball come to me, I try to compete and make that play. Uh, like I said, everything else is. Bryce Young was 8 for 16 for 80 yards in the air. Chuba Hubbard, 14 carries for 45 yards, but he had 92 yards of total offense. So a productive day for Chuba Hubbard, but in the totality of this loss, uh, meaningless uh, in the eyes of the Carolina Panthers locker room. The top receiver for the Panthers today, Jonathan Mingo, three receptions for 36 yards. So still not a lot of progress anywhere on the offense uh, but Frank Wright is taking no excuses. There's no excuse I mean I, I, I have confidence in those guys I think those guys are good players so um, we, we just need to coach better and play better and um, those you know guys step up and, and got to do a good job. The Panthers mustered 162 yards in the air 96 on the ground but had four penalties for 35 yards 
and for uh, another game, they have continued to fail to utilize the tight ends in what could be a different receiving scenario, providing bigger targets for Bryce Young with the issues uh, from the offensive line. Uh, so they were only targeted three times. And in addition to that, they will possibly uh, not have Tommy Tremble. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. He left the game with a groin injury. Uh, the injuries for the Panthers, uh, Chandler Zavala left the game, as we mentioned, with a knee injury. Cade Mays, ankle. LaVisca Chanel, ankle. And as we said before, Tommy Trimble with the groin injury. So uh, uh, lots of, a uh, lot of injuries piling up on the Panthers this evening uh, on the offensive side of the ball, unfortunately. So another uh, loss for the Panthers. Again, uh, falling to the Titans, 17-10 here in Nissan Stadium. With your Carolina Pro Football Report, I'm Kevin Tolbert.